Good morning, campers. Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It's your host, Nick Sterniolo, Matt Sterniolo, and Chris Sterniolo. Bam. I hate that we all have the last, the same last name because by the time it gets to me, I feel like I'm just repeating you guys. Well, you are. Yeah, but it just sounds like, oh my God, it sounds like so much. It's like, oh, you could take a guess and know what it is. Yeah, like I, mean? I should just start saying Chris. Well, that's what I used to do. I always. I cannot believe we're on episode 35, Matt. How does that make you feel? Also, I've, I've seen good. clips of people like stitch together like all of my intros. When I say Nick's turning yellow, Nick's turning yellow, Nick's turning yellow, it sounds like I'm saying Nick's turning yellow. <laughs> okay. <dude. laughs> like Nick's turning yellow sounds like Nick's turn yellow. Nick. Like Nick turns yellow. Like that's what I always hear. That's how people like make our last name wrong when they say it. Yeah, I know, but it's like when I hear it over and over, it starts. To it's sound so like crazy that. how many like how bad. Let's go are over the top name. five wrong ways people say our last name. Okay. Sternello. Nightmare. Sternolo. Sternolo. That one's super close. <laughs> Sternolo is so Sternolo close to Sterniolo. Um, I don't know where people throw the A in at the Sterno- end, but we get Sterniola yeah, we get sometimes. Sterniola or Sterniola. Or Sterniola. No, it was Sterniola, Sterniola or Sternoli. Sternola. That's who said, who said um, Sterntopolo once? Sterntopolo. That, that one was crazy. crazy. Um, um, what else is there? Um, what was the, the teacher, Nick? What she used to say? Who? You, you got the award in like in like eighth grade and she said it like on the stage to call you oh up. my god what was it it was so wrong um people, no people just like, like start t- people just start take the o-lo. like there's no, like an extra t people take there. the olo and just like really run with it and they're they like stern- olioli sternolio like like sternolio sternolio is the no sternolio is sternolio is a big one like yeah. a bunch of olios at the end yeah, <laughs> way too many olios. never it sounds like a cereal at that point I, that's why I just love Stromboli too, because it's like no one ever messed who, up with that. That was who like, um that was that one TikTok the girls dab called us mm. the Ravioli Brothers. That one's sick. Too. That's my favorite. That's, that's, a, good, that's a great brothers. one. Yeah. Ravioli is a great word. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a. I'm a fan word. of Ravioli. <laughs> I agree. I'm trying to think what what other nicknames there have been. Um. I've had people say like my first name wrong. I think that was my issue with the stage. What? Like they said Nick, Nick wrong or Nicholas Ooh. wrong. Well, I always just think back of like, even Matt couldn't spell my name until like third grade. Okay, well, your name's spelled weird. I also like, can't I, spell anything until third no, grade. No, like so. there was like, th- like if you asked Matt in like third grade to like write my name on paper, he like couldn't Nick, I could spell barely it. write my own in third grade. No, like it was like, it was prolonged like a lot. Like someone could have asked you like way, like not that long ago and you would have spelled my name right. I used to think I it was, was like, never, how do you spell my name? I, I remember asking you this like a year ago and you couldn't do it. <laughs> how do you spell my name? Spell I Nicholas. could spell it right now. I'm not about to do this. It's spell not like it. a little puppy that like you can tell to say. We'll spell sit it. down in front of you. you know? No, because I remember asking Matt like a year ago how to spell my name and he like couldn't That's spell it. That's not true. He didn't spell I know it how right. to spell it. I love that my so. name had a P in it. Like I remember being so happy. Like the PH, the silent P. That's interesting. For sure. Isn't it crazy that the PH makes an F sound? This is pretty nuts. Like that's what it is. That's what it yeah. does. All right. Well, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Of this episode. Yeah, I hate that <laughs> saying meat and potatoes. <laughs> let's do it. Come on, Nick. Today we're going to be talking about the science of happiness. Oh, which is I'm so eager to hear what Matt has to say about everything that we talk about today. Me too. Negative Matt. Negative Matt. I mean, um, what's a what's a um synonym? Is that the word of I'd say alliteration? It's, I'd say it's more yeah, of like we an, need to make an, an alliteration. It's more annoyed Matt. Miserable Matt. It's more annoyed Matt than it is anything. It's like what did me and Chris do today though to to make you annoyed before we started filming? Chris today? has already burped and played music that I don't want to listen he to. He asked you if you heard the song and you were like, "Of course I heard the song." And then he played it again I said, for you. I said, "How could I have not?" You just played it for ten minutes in the kitchen and then he played it again. Not what he said. I was also watching something else on my phone. No, no he, he did said. annoy me So it's like too. having the... He started o- playing music on the kitchen table. I got up and left there. I was yeah, like, okay, I was, I like, I was trying you. to focus on something on my phone. And then he comes over and he's like, oh, listen to this new song and starts playing a song. See, I was, like, was also hard. frustrated. I, I already doing ca- something carry that has it. to do with, I with audio. Oh my God. You know, talking. Matt just gets like Matt like. It's literally- crazy how hypocritical you guys are too. Let me just say that you're you're the first to be like, oh Matt, you don't talk during this podcast. I didn't once have a break in what I was just saying, and then you got you literally went, oh my god, you're still talking because well, that was listen, the first time I didn't. You let don't you talk, me. but when Isn't you that do, crazy? you don't talk, but when you do, it's like elongated versions of complaints and ab- annoyingness that we've heard before. So it's Incorrect. like it's like when we're gonna, anger. Yeah, it's like when we're gonna talk Incorrect. a lot. Let's Both make it correct. like That's something fine. fun and worth listening to. 
Well, I, I can't get to that point if it's if I can't even say bare minimum. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just shit like this. Yeah, like, super anyway. exciting to talk about happiness today, though, right, Matt? Well, yeah, Nick, so me and Nick excited. can turn it around. You can't turn it around. That's can't, your problem. Can't even come close to turning. It <laughs> yeah, you're just like once you're in the miserable mode, you're just like <laughs> miserable oh, Matt, Matt. Miserable Matt. Yes, it's it's miserable, miserable Matt. That joke Matt. was made already. No, Maybe it wasn't. You're listening yeah, it was I said it. Oh. Idiot. But he is me- miserable Matt. What? What are you looking at me for, idiot? Turn around. Ugh. You wish I acted. You, uh, you wish. In these videos. Good. I really no. can't stand. I'm not gonna You're sit sitting. here for like another. 55 minutes. Oh, you can't stand. Uh, what? What was that? that? That mumble? I can't understand you. Okay, go ahead. Now you're mumble, talking. Matt, too. It's like, <laughs> I can't even understand what you're saying. It sounds like rocks rolling down a hill. Your voice like, <laughs> it just literally sounds like an avalanche coming out of your mouth. You guys, like, get me to this point. It's Today we're learning about the science behind get. feeling your best and I, how Dude, I think I need hearing aids, or he's just whispering. One of the two. I can't even understand. What, what like, I haven't heard the words you've said. They got it. You have it. to realize how far away you are. They got it. Can't hear you. They got it. It's all right. Cool. Yeah. God bless microphones. Mm-hmm. Today we're learning about the science behind feeling your best and how happiness is more than a feeling. <laughs> oh yes, it's a powerful I'm emotion. I'm so excited. It's a powerful emotion that affects our whole being. Let's rate our happiness. I one just through know 10 I'm first. gonna get shit for yelling can at Matt we, today. Can we rate our happiness one through ten? I'll start. I'm a ten out of ten today. Matt. Um, I start every day with a 10 out of 10 and then it just <laughs> chips away. Not true. No, it's very true. So, okay, this is the question is where are you at now? I'm probably chipped like a... Oh, shut the nine fuck up one right chipped. now. Nine one out of 10? You guys, I don't understand. Your guys' like thought process on everything is really confusing me with like... You always seem confused. About. Carry on, Nick. What's yours? One to ten. Like, what are y'all even? Mine's about? eleven. No way. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's give good. it up for Nick, guys. He's got. I'm just happy I get to be this close to Matt, Nick, this close to you, and talk to you guys for the next like 45 minutes in our life. own like, podcast studio. What else would I w- possibly want? Mm-hmm. I'm with you. I feel it. Right. I'm feeling <clears> good <throat> vibes today. Today is the first day of a new month. Always start fresh. I love that feeling. Can you stop yelling. Well, it's not it's yelling. Like, by the time this podcast comes out, it's very late February. I know, but so. filming this on February 1st, it's just like... Don't even say that. Why? Because yeah. it's inaccurate to the timeline in which they're I'm watching. saying that's part of my happiness yeah, but it's, today. it's taking the viewer out of that, that mode. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm sorry to take you guys out of the mode. Anyways, we got a list of questions here. And the first one I want Matt to answer. It says, what does happiness mean to you? This is so good. Uh, I don't know. That's a really like on the spot loaded question. I feel. I can answer that. Go ahead. A stranger could have come up to me, put me in a headlock, and said, "What makes you happy?" And I'll let you go. And I can answer. Okay, it the so floor fast. is yours. Answer it. Well, it's just crazy to me. You can't answer. Like, oh what? my fucking god, Chris! Is oh, this gonna be like? And, a, we're, this and we're using thing? the Lord's name in vain <laughs> aggressively, <laughs> yeah, and we're mad. And Not we're oh my god, oh my fucking god. Can you? Wow. Re- yeah, that was a lot, Matt. Sorry. I could. I could, Chris. I could figure it out. So what does happiness I just, mean to you? Oh, my God. Get, one of you guys answer it I don't now. Like, I'm not even chip fucking away at it, but. <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. Let's hear it. The opposite of what's going on right now. I'd oh. say. I'd say. When, That's like a little kid answer. You know what I mean? Like okay. They say like their answer to the question is the opposite of what's happening right now. Like That's like a little kid thing. I feel like. I agree. Can you rephrase the question, Nick? Why this isn't you, a spelling you need to rephrase it. <laughs> what does happiness mean to you? Am I allowed to go, or should, do you want to go? I don't want to. I don't know who's going. going. I don't care. Someone. I'm not gonna repeat the myself. Let me go on the desk. I'm really not question. gonna repeat myself. <laughs> <laughs> like <I can't. laughs> happiness means to me um, doing what you love. Okay. Um, being with people you love. Okay. And um, just. You know, striving for what's best for yourself and the people around you and having confidence doing it. That's what I think is. I'd happiness. say my, unless you want to go. No, you, go you first. guys no, are no, you should really go first fucking I, pushing it. Today. No, because you, really you should go it. first because I, I have like a final thought that I feel like is different from both the, like what you're go, both going. Yeah, to no. Say. Happiness to me is like being with people you care about and doing stuff you care about. Like I fully agree. Yeah. Like, hmm, let's think of an example, like going to the movies at night with friends. Okay. Like my happiness. Do you, do you going to the beach to add, at night like, with friends. Personally, that's different happiness. from what he said. Or are you agree? Going on a drive. I, I agree with Chris, but then I also agree in 
it's not only like with friends. I'd say some of my happiest moments are sitting alone and just being like in silence and not being aggravated and by myself. Mm. Not even just saying that because of what's going on right now. Oh no, because no, I know no, that that's gonna no, that's gonna I, be I a looming thing. Nothing's going on right now. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> you're, I think you're making fun. it seem like we have like beef right no, now. No, I just think it's funny that we're just like I jokingly just fighting, and like someone's gonna be mad at me on the internet for like yelling at Matt. You, you just, just can you just say that I'm not like like you're not like super you're mad. You're pissing at me. me off. Oh my like what? Gosh. What do you you want me to like I just say can't this do it. whole I thing? Can't you guys do it. are pushing my fucking buttons. What do you want? Yeah, obviously, I don't have a fucking I, problem. We'll I, be fine. I, I'm struggling to hear you. I'm Maybe sorry. Maybe that's a you issue. Well, like, no, I, I just like, I feel problem. like all your words are colliding, and then it's just like a chunk Chris, of You do it, realize like noise your me. whole, everything that happens to you collides with fucking noise. You don't scream, even know what that means. You yell. What, I'm using what you just said. You scream, you, you said yell, you, you are the same. I promise you'll noise. never struggle to hear what I'm saying, though. Okay, but you make I'm like, I have to be like this and close my eyes and like squint. You're crazy. You're Understand. insane sometimes. I That's why I'm just like. This I love being insane. That's good. It makes me happy. Nick, go ahead. Answer. I'd say that happiness means when all of your conscious thought is just in what you're doing in that moment. I agree. Mm-hmm. Right? I agree. When your like, mind is not overthinking, and like bringing you somewhere else negative. It's annoying. Right? Yeah, I agree, yeah. Chris. Mm-hmm. It's like when like you're in your like because that's when it's like you 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 can't really like I don't know. It's so difficult because it's there is like times you can like just be texting somebody or you can be like looking back at memories and be happy. But I'm thinking more of like creating an actual active, happy memory is like all of your conscious thought is in that moment. I agree. Like if you're at like a picnic, like all you can think of is how amazing the food is, the people you're with, the weather, that's a happy memory. And you can look back on it and be happy, but I don't think you looking back on that and being happy about it is creating a new happy memory. I think it's I agree. reliving that happiness. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because people, I know people would argue that ha- there's like happiness in like, like looking at Snapchat memories or something. You know what I mean? But it's like, I think you're just revisiting those happy memories. I also think that, right? Yeah. yeah. I think to, to, um, alley oop what you're saying huh. is, um, the sports, what are you talking about? The sports Don't references just never shit, really work on me, but what? Go. Like, I can't... This isn't fucking real life right now. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I'm trying to avoid, like... I think, to Ali, what you were saying, Nick, is I think that sometimes my happiest memories <laughs> I don't even realize are about to be my happiest memory. I agree. And then I look back and I'm like, that was that a happiest happy memory. memory. Yeah. Like, Hawaii, for example. When we went to Hawaii, we spent like, the whole... Best thing I love world. bringing that up because it was just such an amazing time. But when we spent that whole week in Hawaii, had fun, it was a blast... I didn't think leaving there like that was the best time. Like that was the happiest memory ever. And then I look back at it now and I'm like, there's not one negative. You can't, you can't, you can't force anything like that. You can't be like, Oh, well you can't like go into something and be like, this is going to be a happy. Yeah, You can't choke the memory out of it and be like, this is my happiest memory. You just have to let it happen. And then just afterward, you're like, sure. What an amazing time. I understand that. No, I get it. Yeah. It's like, if you tried to like, I think just like my way of saying it was fine. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Nick. Oh my God, you guys are you're insane. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so <laughs> much. Because you said you and not you guys. Because yeah. I'm not. That, He's just insane. Right? That's not me. Like not everything needs. To, like I understand that I talk quietly sometimes, but not everything needs to be a big. Even fiasco. just what you're doing now, I can like understand better than what you were just doing. That was wasn't. I'm you doing what I was loud, but you were like actually projecting full words. I loved it. Carry on, Nick. You guys are not real. He's not real. What do you do when you need an immediate happiness boost? Get Chris away from me. Whatever <gasps> that. Whatever oh my that is. God, what a hurtful answer. <laughs> I would have never said that about him. I would never say that. Uh, I think personally, sometimes Matt is so negative it it drains my mood. I'm not, but I negative. would never have that answer. Oh my I god, know. Chris, it's it is a fucking joke. We're comedians. Okay, so that joke it's is actually joke. more hurtful than anything I've ever done in this podcast room. Is so it? everyone that clips the sad videos sure. of me wah, being wah, mean to Matt wah, and me burping and settling wah, like and there's wah, Matt, no, you're not a dog. Yeah. That that was more hurtful. So now we're even, I would say, right? Yeah, sure. Even. Thank you. Even Steven. Now I'll give my real answer. <laughs> now I'll give my real answer. Moron. <laughs> um happiness boost question. Music. I'm sure what if I walked out? Oh! <laughs> what are you, like, <laughs> what are you doing? talking about? He said music. That was going to be my answer. So I just had a big moment I took of it. Look at that. Well, no, I just think it's funny. I'd say music. But I was scared I also, to answer that way. 
the voices in my head. <laughs> Go ahead. Are- I'd say music, but I really think sad music makes me happier. See, that's been my theory forever, and you and Chris clocked me about it for about four years. Yes or not no? Not true. Yes I or said, no? From my seventh grade? Nick, that's not uh, that's not what, what true is true, but I will tell you what's true if you want to hear what's true. Here tell it me is the, the negativity. you fucking genie in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. You fucking said, Zoltar is going to tell see, me the truth. Let's go. You said that you would do that on Ox, which is like no, I didn't. Which is no, weird. I didn't. When have I ever played songs that I like on an Ox chord to you all? Every single time. Name the past five times I've played music for everybody on a speaker. Ooh, put the name the past five times I've played music for everybody on a speaker. I couldn't. I couldn't. Within the it. and I'll give you this. Within the past five years, name five times I've been Three on. Three of them Ox. were at the warehouse when we were doing merch stuff, but I couldn't. I couldn't name any other time than that, which was at the beginning of this month. I couldn't. And I, I promise you that I could not do it. I'm aware. Yes. But what I'm saying Let is in the very few moments that you do have aux, which is very rare occurrence, you play like sad, very slow paced music. And what on the do you aux. do? And I say, shut this off. Or no, play no, no. And what music. do you do when you're on aux? I play music. What kind? Not that. You you just play music that nobody can like move to. Like it's just no. Matt also, I think that you guys have just different styles of sad music. Like your sad music is your sad music. Yours is your sad music. I agree. And you will play what makes you emotional on Ox. Like that's I agree. So like like, to hard accuse Nick of that was insane. You you do exactly what you're 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 very contradicting statement. Correct. I agree. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. No, there's no go ahead. It's just like, let's just realize that you were wrong. Sure, I'm wrong. No, it's I'm not wrong. like there's a right and wrong. It's just like, I there want you to like, is, I think that yeah, I've, I've been You're on right. your current wave. It's of, just like, different what makes music. you happy it's about music, music for like See, the Nick, past the five whole years problem, of my life. The whole problem with, with how this just happened, with what, what just occurred right there, is mm. I gave my answer and now you're like... I'm having a conversation because this is a podcast. <laughs> oh my God, go ahead. All I said was your answer... Contradicted everything. Contradicted your Every- past five years of okay, behavior yeah, yeah. toward me. And then what I said after contradicted it even even more. Guys, this episode's about happiness, so let's not make it no, the I'm most happy. negative. I'm just having ever. a conversation. I personally, Matt, I always disagreed with you with this because we just see it differently, and that's okay. I think that like when I listen to sad music, I just let whatever's on fully impact my full behavior. Mm-hmm. Like so, if I'm listening to like a rap song, whatever. That's like upbeat, fast paced, whatever. That's how I'm feeling. If I'm listening to a slow, sad song, that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> like whatever song is on has full, like I fully just feel the type of way that it's in. Like, th- like mm-hmm. you listen, saying that you listen no, to I do sad as music well. and get happy is crazy. No, I, I do. It's, I think it's more of the fact that it's not like an initial while the song is playing, I'm going from sad to happy. It's more of the fact like I, I'm sad. I listen to the song and then when it's over, that's when I'm happy again. But like I give yeah, myself, crazy. I give myself that like three minute break of like, okay, well, you're gonna listen to this sad song, and then when it's done, that's crazy. Turn that it is around. a little crazy. My thought is more of like when I am listening to music that I like, it's more of like, this will make me happy because I never get to listen to music that I am playing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love music. We know. What brings you the most joy and satisfaction in your life? Um, was that not what we just answered? Or no, it no. wasn't. What was the one before that? What do you do when you need an immediate happiness boost? Oh, okay. Music. Honestly, eat food. I love food. Go happiness to- boost? Are you going yeah. back to the other question? Happiness boost. Okay. So, listen. So, that question was asked and your answer was music. We moved on well, to no, the other Matt, question. Only Matt answered that and then we elaborated and on And you said that he thought. took you, your answer. You literally audibly gasped and said, that's what I was going to say. Well, can I, I, can, may you I can add, add on? on? You yeah. can, but I was just clarifying that you were going back to the question that we just yeah. ended. Because you wouldn't say that. What, dude? I was say, looking to who gives a fuck. I don't care. Idiots. You wouldn't say fuck. that. Because, listen, the question I just asked was what brings you the most joy and satisfaction? You wouldn't say that's food. I would say it's music. Okay. I'm a little I'm I'm very, very lost. Well, I just yeah. want to add on to Nick, the first ask him both. Listen, yeah. Ask him both. I wasn't prepared. Me and Matt aren't going to speak. No. I'm going to ask no. you two questions. No, I'm and not you doing this little kid game. I'm ability. not being treated like a baby. I just want to say I wanted to add on to the first one and give my answer. Well, that's that's I also didn't say that. I, yeah, but I asked you to re-ask it. Re-ask it, Nick. Okay. No, hold on. It's it's over. That moment was over. Stop saying re-ask it. I already know both the questions. That moment was long gone. I just feel like Nick, you never get you never get to answer the question either because you're the one asking it. Well, because no one asks me the question. Well, here I am. 
<laughs> I'm here today, okay. and I'm ready to listen to all my peers and then feel what they have to feel. This is an episode about happiness. I won't leave with go. a frown on my face. Okay, go. No one's going to, but just go ahead. You need to be more positive, Mister. <laughs> positive. You could. You me. said the most negative thing ever about me moments ago, oh. and I'm as. Oh, you're yanking the whole table. I'm as happy as a pig yeah, in mud. Stop. Right all right. May I just say, the whole fucking Nick, table is what do you do when you need a big happy boost? I want to know Nick Starniello's answer. Eat a chocolate cake. I love that. And because like, and I was going to say, for real. the second I want a happy booster, if I'm having a bad day, I'm going to go out to dinner. And I'm just going to escape it with my plate. Yeah, that's good. That's Which I, I don't feel. know if this is the most positive. <laughs> I fully yeah, agree. No, that's sometimes that's this is an honest answer. Yeah, eat ice cream. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes Nick, you need those days to just let's like get sit into the down other and question. Eat. Okay, we're gonna move on. That's okay. What brings you the most joy and satisfaction in your life? I'd say the people around me. I think when all the people around me are um, happy and together and all enjoying their time. Mm -hmm. Wow, you have a lot. Well, no, there's just a, like some requirements, you know? Like, mm -hmm. as long as everyone around me is happy and they're all getting along and we're all doing something fun, that's... Boom. That's it. Boom. Yep. Yep. That? I'd say, like, check in boxes off my list, you know? Like, everybody has, like, a list of things that, like, they want to get done. Like, whether it's, like, in a week, in, in a month, in a year, in a lifetime. Completion. Just check in a box. Mm. You like Love getting it. stuff done. Sure. Checking off your personal list. It's not just a personal list. I just say check in a box. Leave it broad. Leave it for okay. interpretation. Okay. No. Love. Good answer. Thank you. Of course. Topic one. That's all we're at. Well. I'm That's okay. Thinking. No rush. Yeah. Um, you can feel happiness in your physical body. Really? Emotions equals energy in motion. Hmm. That's crazy. That is true if you think about it. Like if you're angry, it's like that's just angry energy in motion. Like something's you're, you're angry. I hate feeling angry. Like I hate being so angry that I want to just punch a fucking mirror. Yeah, like there's like I mean, people will always say and like they'll clip it because it's like I'm yelling a lot in our videos, but I'm never like really flooded with anger. Mm -hmm. But when I am, it's like a dangerous state for me to be in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate being angry. Every time I'm angry, my body fully shakes. Like, I'm shaking with adrenaline out of this yeah. anger. <laughs> that's yeah. insane. Well, it's like, that's like actual anger. I'm not talking, no, that's like, I'm not talking when we're like jokingly Comedic arguing anger. or like today when we're like ar arguing in the podcast. Yeah, you're not, gonna, you're around, not like getting the urge I'm to punch me. I'm not actually anything. angry. Yeah. yeah. Like, Correct. I'm talking angry like if someone like fucking like hits an old lady or something on the side of the road. Yeah. I'm like, that will anger me. I, yeah. My body will be trembling in anger. Yeah, I agree. Worst thing. It's worse when you see something online that makes you angry and you can't do anything about it. Mm. You know, like if I saw like a clip of Don't someone, be afraid like, to hit that block button. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if someone gets like robbed or something online or like something bad happens to someone online and you just can't do anything about it. You're just like, well, I don't really think let things online physically affect my body. Oh, no. Okay. Neither do I. Carry on. Emotions give you energy, improve your mental and physical performances and help maintain positive relationships. Positive moods help you have better memory. No way. Oh my God, Chris, that's not good. You have terrible memory. I know. That's what I was about to say. I have the worst memory of all time. Maybe you have too time. many negative things going on. Or Are maybe there's right? so many overwhelmingly powerful happiness memories that I can't even store them all. Mm. That's a great way to look at it. It is. Thank if you. you think about it, it's so much easier to reflect on like happy things in your life than like negative. Well, yeah, because the second something sad or angry hap like. Is that because something makes you sad or angry? You just want to like throw it away and forget I about like it. I like fully disagree with that. Well, no, because okay. your your result you're you're thinking of like trauma, traumatic experiences you remember forever. But actually, just like sad, like a sad. But like, actual, like just like your angry memories. No, I still disagree with that. Okay. I'd say I like fully remember. I think that's like you want to though. I think you like like to remember like the negative parts of your life just so that you can move on from it. I think that's I a think I like personal Matt Cerniolo thing. I agree, but I'd, I'd say that I like store. I don't like. Tr I don't know. Elaborate. Do you have time? I don't know how to elaborate. Okay. Well, what what's the overall goal you're trying to get with this sentence? Like, what it's pe people feel like they reflect. I just disagree with like the only memory that like what it's is not. It? it says positive moods help you have better memory. Positive okay. moods. 
Like if you if you're in a positive and mood. And then I said that people the second they have negative memories or really upsetting ones, they try to like push it away. Mm-hmm. And then you said you disagree. Yeah. I don't know how to elaborate. I just That's disagree. fine. You disagree. Yeah. Noted. Got it. Um how to boost happiness. Increase serotonin in your brain. Serotonin is your happiness hormone and can be increased by physical exercise, mm. hugging, eating high protein foods. So ex- oh, I told you food. We love food. For some shrimp Exposure to thing. sunlight or other light therapy. Wow. wow. I love being outside. I Taking deep other breaths. light therapy means. I love I'm a huge fan of a good deep breath. Huge fan. I, I used to make today. fun of people that take deep breaths and now I realize I was wrong. You were. That's good that you were wrong. Well, like even in like in like middle school, I remember like they would have like the like counselor come to everyone's class and then it would show like a deep breath thing on the screen. It was like hold for 30 seconds. All right, release. And then the See, whole class that, would, like that's like in, in organized opinion, deep breathing deep is kind of breath. crazy to me. Organized like to breath. amongst the people around. Like that's yeah. a little that's a lot. No, when you you guys constantly like go up to me. And you're like, why do you just sigh? Because like you'll randomly just catch. No, because that's like, not a deep breath, Matt. Okay. Yeah, no, sure. you're that's... actively like you'll be like, <sighs> stop being <sighs> a weirdo, dude. Like you just make like like scoffing noises. Yeah, you just constantly. exude negative energy. Okay, that's a little aggressive. I'm just saying, like you, <laughs> I, I, it's never like we're catching the back half of a deep breath, and you know that. <laughs> yeah, you're you just well like away. you'll be sitting there, and go, oh. like Matt. Go ahead. Don't do that to me. Well, you're wrong, but it's like, go ahead. Okay, I'd, then tell us about it. No, it's fine. No, you don't want to hear about it. I'm full all ears, Matt. Let's hear I, it. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I re- I changing that. Go ahead, no Nick. worries. You're insane. How am I insane? <laughs> this is so funny. I feel I like can't. I just think it's so funny that like this is our episode about happiness and we're like all just like jokingly bitter. Oh. Posture and spine. <laughs> go ahead, buddy. Keep looking at me. <laughs> Energy flows through your spine to your brain. You said all the time. Look at you right now. <laughs> yeah, me and Nick have Don't had look at you right po- now. Posture I'm lying down. To you today. I'm lying down. You're sitting in a chair. <laughs> Energy flows through your spine to your brain. In yoga, a flexible spine is a sign of longevity. Ooh. Certain body postures can lead to hormonal changes that improve confidence and stress levels. Power poses. Stand with your hands on your hips and a che- and chest proud. How do you feel? I remember our teacher. I'm gonna finish the rest of this pod like this. Oh, I remember Jesus. our teacher made us do power poses in school. Do you remember that? I do. What class was that again? I forgot. I don't know, like health maybe. I remember doing it, but I don't remember like what class it was. I don't either. Do I look powerful, Matt? No. I feel it. That's good. Body language can impact your mood. Stress is the root of 99% of illness. Puts your body in fight or flight mode. Managing your stress is key to hacking your happiness. Not all stress is bad. Wow. I That's crazy. Yeah, I kind of disagree with that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like anytime <laughs> that you're stressed, it's like not a good thing. Unless you're so stressed about how much positive is going on. That's me a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, like, the worst part about it. Like, I hate having, like, positive things and positive thoughts. And then, oh, my God, are you trying a power Whoa. pose? <laughs> no, you can fix your posture. I'm not going to say something about it. Don't, like, sit uncomfortably to prove a point. Yeah, that's, like, funny to me, Matt, is, like, you'll let, like, some comment or someone say something I just, that's fully just... affect something you personally want to do. Like, if you personally wanted to, like, sit up right now, you wouldn't just because you know that Nick would make, like, a power pose joke. <laughs> like, I, already, and I already did. Like, let's just, like, yeah, sit, let's up. just let's sit up. Let's just sit up. Dude. It's fine. I made the joke already, and I'm sorry. Just keep talking, Nick. Oh, my I... gosh, Matt. You need a chill pill. You need fucking... Say it. My feelings won't be hurt. A punch in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Give me one, Matt. You're, You're insane. Freaking, yeah. <laughs> Not all stress I'm is as bad. happy just... as a bee on a flower today. <laughs> Not all stress is bad. I disagree in the sense of like, if a lot of positive things are happening and I get stressed out about having too many things to do, it almost always takes away from enjoying a moment. Yeah. But you can like look back on it and be like, oh, I was worrying and stressing over nothing. While you may have to sometimes put on a happy face for your friends and family, you shouldn't feel that way when talking to your doctor. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book top-rated doctors who make you feel comfortable and actually listen to you. Doctors who aren't here to judge you. 
ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doctor you want, you can book them immediately. No more waiting on hold with a receptionist. And these docs all have verified reviews from actual real-life patients. ZocDoc lets you book appointments with tens of thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed, credible doctors and specialists in all fields. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat basically any condition you're searching for. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same-day appointments. We know how urgent and stressful it can be when you need to see a doctor right away, and ZocDoc is the perfect tool to help you book same-day appointments. With our crazy busy schedules, ZocDoc is ideal for us to find a doctor and get an appointment ASAP. Go to ZocDoc.com slash camera and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash camera. ZocDoc.com slash camera. Do you ever have those feelings, Nick? Where you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like dim the lights and fucking get a notebook and glasses. <laughs> yeah. But no, when you're like, when like... You just look back and you're like, damn, I shouldn't have even been worrying about that that much. Every day, I, I consistently worry about things too much. I agree. Yeah, I think this like, is a moment I we should all reflect of, on. Okay, I think a lot. I'm trying of, to be the most positive Peter I can right now. Can just saying. Let Matt finish his. Sentence. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, I'd say, I like, I hate when I like lose my train of thought while he's doing that because now I'm like forgetting. Do you want to pass the speaking baton? Yeah, I forget. Okay. I feel like it, you'll remember. Okay, thanks. I can't believe the tensity. Oh, there's nothing tense around here. Okay. What was I going to say? You got it, Matt. Think, I'm going to give you think, a moment think, to remember. Stop. When you, I hate when you do that, when I'm trying to remember, and you always just go, think, 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 think. Like, that's not going to work. Chris, Yeah. please do me a favor and just don't say anything directed toward Matt for the rest of the episode unless he, like, projects a I'm comment fine. to you. I'm fine. He's fine. I know, but just don't even try and joke to get him to talk more like nothing. Like, just talk to me, and then Matt will intrude in the Y'all are just annoying because you actually, like, get, like, weird. And like no, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, in order to like no, it's good. have good, better Nick. conversation, have, good. just don't talk to Matt, and then he'll talk when he feels like he needs to. Got it. That's what I'm. We should learn about is. the science of triplets in one episode. Okay. Just saying, I think that'd be awesome. We should. We actually should write that down. The science. Of the triplets. science of triplets, and we can like talk about like how the triplets. Odds of being. Yeah, the odds of being. I can't. There's. It's gone. The thought is far and gone. Okay. No. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm running. I'm running after it. We mind. could like talk about like what separates triplets from the rest of the world and like wh- what they feel that others so, yeah, never experience. Yeah, I understand. Like just everything triplet. That'd be so awesome. Everything triplets with yes. the cerniola triplets. Ew, terrible. That's a good title. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Diet, digestion, and your gut. Your gut. Nah. <laughs> Um, your digestive system and gut health can directly impact your well-being. Your food equals your mood. Ooh. I love that. We don't eat enough and we're consistently stressed out. I don't eat enough and when I do eat, it's a heap of shit. That's my problem. Like, I'll just, like, I won't eat all day and then I'll eat Cool Ranch Doritos, Cup Noodles, Gummy Bears, Sodas, Ice Cream. Oh my goodness. Chocolate covered raspberries. I eat. All the junk right at night. Yeah. And then it's not like, good. We need to have better sustainable meals. We should I wake agree. up and eat chicken. Well, I think that it's so crazy how many things connect like for your health. I hate when there's like just always excuses. Like you're in a bad mood. Oh, drink water, eat a meal, go on a walk. It's like, fuck off. I, I just think it's all, so crazy. I can't do all this. I just yeah. think it's so crazy that like diet affects your energy energy affects like your physical activity physical activity affects how many hours you sleep at night like there's so many things that are linked together that like living the perfect like healthy lifestyle is honestly the most difficult thing i think i'm so jealous and envious of people that get a good night rest every night eat three meals a day with like the perfect amount of protein and calories and they work out and have like a good like physical activity throughout a day and they're happy like there's got to be something wrong you know what I mean? You can't just be that fucking amazing, you know? I know. Like, that's like that's my goal is to, like, just for, like, even one month, just endure a good night's sleep, a good meal every day, all three meals, and then, like, high energy and, like, physical I'm trying to think of the last like, time I went through a full day and had a good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner, went to bed. And it's taking me a lot out <laughs> yeah. of it. I can't recall. It's so true, though. It really is super important. 
Yeah. Like, it is the most important thing is to get, like, three good, solid meals in a day. I don't fuck with breakfast. I also don't believe it's the most important meal of the day. You're snubbing, well, no, it's you're it's, snubbing dinner crazy. Well, no. Dinner is Dinner's the most enjoyable, but breakfast is the most important because it jumpstarts your whole day. If you don't eat breakfast, then you don't get, like, started that day. I almost feel like it's not important to, like, scavenge away food right when the you wake up. Well, no, it's not right when you wake up. You can wait, like, an hour and a half or something. But, oh. like... What, you think you eat breakfast the moment your eyes crack open? You're just like <laughs> eating breakfast? No, an hour and a half is generous. No? Well, I think I mean, in 45 minutes of being awake. That's yeah, breakfast. that's fine. Do you I eat, think like, do you eat breakfast before or after you brush your teeth? After? I brush my teeth right when I wake up to give my mouth time to like be rid that. Yeah, brush my teeth is like the first breakfast. thing that I do when I get up. Yeah. Mm. Like I have Instantly. to. I like crave it. Like the second I'm awake, I'm like, I need to go brush my I teeth. I woke up this morning and like really wanted water, but I couldn't drink water because I hadn't brushed my teeth. And I was yeah. like, I refuse water to like pass my disgusting teeth and tongue <laughs> and go down my throat right now. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's, I need to clean my mouth and then I can drink water. Fully agree. Yeah. Fully agree. Um Brain is your body's control center, but gut is responsible for butterflies in your tummy feeling, your gut feeling that. Mm. <laughs> Matt knows so much about gut feelings. Yeah, Matt has Consistently so many talking gut about feelings. Like, gut feelings. Matt doesn't really believe in gut feelings. Fair. Well, I mean, uh, you're opening a can of worms here. Why? Crack it open. I don't know. I just like... What, did he speak? Wow. <laughs> he said, I have no <laughs> idea. I thought I just saw movement. Of <laughs> and that I was. can just say this from, can I say like from your perspective that you can be like, yeah, you're right or yeah, you're wrong. Yeah. Like Matt, I think me and Matt always have like, okay, consistent. never mind. I, I, I remember. I can't, or you can say, after. I just cracked the lid yes. to your can. Go for I it. just really can't <laughs> with like gut feelings being an obvious blank statement. Yeah. Like if I there's a house on fire and someone's like, I have a gut feeling, feeling something that, wrong's yeah. happening over there. That's what I'm just like, okay. Thanks, Einstein. Appreciate it. You know what I mean? Thanks yeah. for doing your gut yeah. is telling. Or it's like a, it's like if I went up to you and I was like, I could say this right now, like, oh, I have a gut feeling you're gonna drink water today to about like ninety percent of the population, and it would probably come well, true. No, yeah, you know what I, I mean? I so it's like, like yeah. gut feelings about the the obvious. What are you saying? Well, it's like, yeah, this is all obvious stuff. You know what I mean? If I said, Hey, I have a gut feeling we're gonna end the podcast today, it's like Yeah, it's like it's gonna be correct. right, you know. That's why I'm just saying like, I get yeah, extensively. What do you think is like a good like gut happens. feeling? Like, I feel like gut feelings is more of like a. Um, I can get gut feelings of this is actually crazy. I get gut feelings about a person in like a, the middle of a conversation with them. Ooh, that's a little crazy. Yeah, that's a superpower. That's that's wild. Yeah. That's what all. about like just like intuition of like is it gonna be a good or bad day? Like I have a gut feeling it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, or like a bad day. You know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I have those where I'm like, but then I feel like that just affects how you go into the day. If you woke up every day saying this is going to be a good day, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to be happy today. It's going to be so much harder to like ruin your mood. You know what I mean? I agree. I remember days in high school where I like didn't want to go to school. I hated all my friends and teachers. And I was like, I do not want to go to school today. And then I would go into school and I would just get in an argument with every teacher. I would not do anything work related and mindset. benefit myself. And then I'd like be late to classes and shit and I would not want to be there and it's just like I feel like how you like expect a day to go is like that's what you're setting yourself up even if you Correct. wake up negative and you're like I'm Correct. gonna turn it around and have a good day today you're gonna have a way better day than if you just carried the negativity throughout your 100%. entire day it's like fully 100%. how you go into a situation mm -hmm. and that's why even like meeting new people whenever I meet a new person no matter if I'm having the worst time of my life I always try to turn it around when I'm meeting someone new even if it's like I'm having the worst day ever and the person like I've heard that they're not the nicest person, whatever, no matter what, if it's a complete stranger, if it's someone I have nothing alike with, if it's someone that I know that like might not be the closest friend ever, I'll still always try to turn it around when meeting someone new because I think that having a positive like body language, positive mindset during anything new that you're experiencing is super important. I agree. Like, I think if you're going to carry a positive attitude with you, the best place to carry it with you is somewhere new. 
You know what I mean? You yeah. have to, because I feel like people get nervous when something's new. You know what I mean? When I get like, so terrified. Yeah. Horrified. Like when we were going on tour for the first time, that's something new. When we were doing like, like starting my brand was something new. When I, like you have, like you can't let negativity ruin those experiences. Or fear. Because sometimes I'll just yeah. like, I'll be super positive about something or happy about it. But I'll let like my fear of being super positive yeah. and happy about it. Of like I'm wanting it to be that way. Like carry into like conversations about it, and yeah. Then like it'll affect and like the new outcome. things are super scary. I get super scared to try something new, like all the time. Mm-hmm. But I think at, even it's okay to be scared as long as you're like positive about yeah, it. Yeah, and that's why I always talk about change as well. As like people consistently fear change because it's like breaking the box of like people get very comfortable in their box. I agree, and that's why I like. And the thing is, is change, change is so evident. You know what I mean? It's so going to happen, and I feel like people that like don't like change and are scared of change are. You're setting yourself up to be disappointed and upset because the world is changing actively every second. Correct. The world changed so drastically from the moment we started. Drastically. Thank you. From the second we started this episode, you know what I mean? 40 minutes in to this episode right now. You know what I mean? Do you know what how different the world is right now than it was 40 minutes ago? It's Extremely. unbelievable. It's crazy how much time, like how many things can change in just a quick amount of time. So you got to stay positive. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everyone. guys. Flow state. I want. I want to. Sorry. I want to have a TED talk one day, like a TED talk about me. Okay. Good not like about me, but like I want to have one, and I want to like. What can I preach at a TED TED talk? I feel like this is something you got to go figure out. No, I was it's gonna not. say. I feel like. Maybe I feel like it's like not a moment thing. Right now, I could do one about like being a triplet and how it affected my life, and I want to talk to all the multiple births out there, and I'd be like twins and triplets. Everybody, <laughs> okay. this is me, and this is my story. Kid, don't and I, stop. You're giving away your whole TED talk. No, right I'm now. giving. Stop no, I'm Chris, not. can I say something? This really is just like, a fraction of what it could be, Matt. Can so I, I say something? Like, quick? It's like an ad. Yes, go ahead. So we have like a podcast topic and I still have a lot of things to go over okay. for us and we are on a, you know, yeah. I'll remain my positive attitude and I'm open to hear something new. Okay. That's good. Flow state. When you engage in activities that challenge you and require full attentive attention known as flow activities. Example, drawing, reading, cooking, walking, things that spark creativity and feel fun. Activities that feel mindless yet mindful with present moments, awareness, and awareness. What did I just say out loud? <laughs> you said awareness twice. Activities that feel mindless, yet mindful with present moment awareness. There we there go. It is. Better. That's a flow state. It's like if you're walking, you're not thinking like, oh, I'm like taking a step. I'm taking I a step. Actually, a step. You're like, you're engaged in everything around you. It's like a mindless activity. You're just walking and everything's happening This is probably my favorite you. thing we're going to talk about today. Okay. Just saying. Um, it leads to increased happiness and reduces the awareness of time passing. What are some activities that put you in a flow state? This is probably my favorite thing ever. Well, it's so true. Like being in a flow state is when you create most of your happy memories because you're not putting conscious thought into like what's going on. I fully agree. Mm -hmm. I always think that like, put like forgetting you have a phone, forgetting to like be nervous about something that you're worrying about, like at home or maybe like at work, whatever. Like when you forget about moments, that's what I think like peak happiness is for I sure, agree. without question. I think that's what I said. Yeah, Nick said that this episode. Earlier. Yeah, like and that's I should know it's called flow states. Yeah, but yeah. flow states is my that's my fucking favorite thing in the earth. So I'll give me give right me now. your top three. Going on a walk. Okay. Going to like a park. I feel like that's out. equivalent. That's one. I'm combining it, Matthew. Yes, it is one. Going on a walk and going outside and being with friends. Well, I asked for three, and then you went like, ignore my hand. Okay, that's why. I, that's why I was confused. There's no need to be confused. You don't have to like call me out for saying the same thing twice. I'm not calling you out. And going outside and going on a walk is two completely different things. Just saying, you could go outside and sit on your porch. You could go on a walk. So yet again, it was two totally opposite things. But I'm not going to let your attitude affect my happiness during this episode because you seem to be the type to drag someone down. Today, at least. I need fucking water. You Go guys get are some. dehydrating me actively. <laughs> you look like a zombie, bro. Matt just ruins my fucking mood. Well, go, Chris. He's taking you I asked out of a for, flow state. I Correct. Asked for he is. Top He's like, three. You're like putting dirt on me. Like, I'm like, yeah, I asked I for your top three and you're, that's, you didn't do I don't that. care to fine. tell you my top three. I'm enjoying my happiness uh, to myself. I don't want to hear about your top three either. Okay. Nick? And I don't care that you broke your <laughs> album. <laughs> Matt's just so annoyingly <laughs> negative and it's like mind blowing to me. Be like, oh, they picked on him. They picked. No, he's a fucking annoying piece of shit right now. That's what happened. Stop being negative, Matt. 
I think that my favorite is hang out with friends is like peak, obviously. Like when you're like with friends and doing something like outside, playing basketball, playing sports, running around, just I, doing something fun. I Even like board games. Board games. I'd say my number one flow state, which kind of sucks that it's my number one because I feel like it's the most difficult flow state to enter mm -hmm. is like traveling because yeah. when you're traveling it's something we all can consciously do like we can walk we can go explore new things we yep. can check into a hotel we can fall asleep so it's like it's not actually changing the pattern of activities that you know you can do because yeah. you do them every day but it's changing where you are yeah and it's like the new environment is putting your brain in like a like you you know what you're doing because it's not different from what you're doing every other day, but the new environment's causing you to like think about your actions more, yeah. which is just making you more present in what's going on. I agree. Like if I was here and I like my, I spent my day today just like eating downstairs and then like going up and going to bed and like not just talking to you guys, if we traveled somewhere, talking to you guys somewhere I'd never been before, sleeping in a bed that I'd never slept in before. Even the activity of new. traveling, like getting to the airport, going and like figuring out which direction you have to yeah. go. And, like, I feel just like doing it's just everything. like anytime your brain has to like yeah. put your gears together, like you're a functioning human being. Let's I agree. get some effort. I out. think I could make a list of like a hundred flow states that I just love and enjoy. You like should. Cause then swimming. it's like, Oh, we can be like, Oh, let's do one of these. Yeah. Literally swimming like at, in a pool with friends, a hot tub, campfire sitting and like roasting marshmallows what else there's so many going out to eat is another big one eating food just at home like or outside like some of my favorite memories is picking up like fast food or something and like going to a park and eating it or going yeah. to like in the car and like literally what a car video is a car video is a flow state for us that's I literally agree. what it used to be i looked at matt and pointed not to like like just because like not to like put pressure on you, it'd be like you're like a part of it. So it's like I was just thinking about you. Thanks. That's all it was. Um, mindfulness and meditation. Listen up. All right. We got regular mindfulness and meditation practices have been shown to increase gray matter density in the brain. What is gray matter? I feel like that's what I need to know about before you get give me that sentence, yeah. right? Gray matter is crucial for processing information in your brain. It includes sensory perception, such as seeing and hearing memory, emotions, speech decision-making, and self-control. Mm. I'm going to read that again. Gray matter is crucial for processing information in your brain and includes sensory perception, such as seeing, hearing, memory, emotions, speech decision-making, and self-control. Got it. Love that. More gray matter density is associated with positive emotions. Have you ever tried meditation? Not really. I'm no. not a big meditate guy. I can't like get into that state. You I know agree. What I mean? Sometimes it's I'll easier for me to do like a flow state activity, which seems like my source of meditation because meditating is like you have to like, like you're trying to get in a flow state by doing nothing. And that's way harder. Yeah. It's like, I think mine needs to come more of like a sense of like distraction as opposed well, to Well, I also like, think that like I suck at like meditation, whatever, just because I think too much and I need something to like, <laughs> in order to like properly meditate, I'd need like a class or something or yeah. like, because like I like lay down whatever and like not go on my phone and chill for like, like a half hour and just I can't meditate, down. but I can count. Sometimes I need to I just count. count oh to my like, God. Dude. I count to like 400. I do that all the time. Do I ever always just, sit just and count, count or what? Not really. I just kind of just sit and like look at the walls. That's crazier. I need to do something with my brain. No. Well, just sometimes looking at the walls will distract you. I'll think about the wall. I'll be like, remember, there was a wall that looked like this in my second grade class when I think of a terrible memory. I agree. That's mm. what I think. Yeah. Like, I, I need to like count because it's like, t I cannot create correct. a thought. Correct. I agree. I need to get to my, I need to get to other numbers. Have you ever actually counted sheep to go to sleep? Never sheep. Where are the sheep? I've done that. No, I've been like, one, I'll like two, picture three, a little wooden four. fence in my head and think and just be like one, two, and I'll just count the sheep, jump the fence and then I'll, <laughs> and I'll sleep. <laughs> okay. That's, That's crazy. crazy. I've actually counted sheep numerous times. That's good. Yeah. I'm happy. Well, it's just like a funny Are there thing, any black like, sheep like Bob? No, never sheep. really. Just the white sheep. Yeah. Just like stereotypical. Like, do you know the mattress one? Yeah. Like the, the, yeah guess like, why he's on the mattress, right? Because <laughs> yeah, you're thinking like, about that it. That ad. Like, I just think of that type of sheep. Oh. And I'm just tired. I'm actually tired. I feel like about we it. brought up sheep like yesterday too. <laughs> no, I don't think we did. I feel like we did because I brought I up. Don't think we did. I brought up sheep. 
Want to know what I think is a great flow method that I've never really practiced? Flow state. Oh, yeah. flow state. <laughs> flow method. Yeah. Um, going to observe nature, like wildlife, like trying to find specific animals, like bird watching. Mm. Ah. Mm. Yes. Like you should have a goal of animals you want to see in a day. Like I want to see a squirrel today. I want to try to find like a raccoon or a possum. And like you have a fuzzy in your hair, in the front. You want to turn toward me? Matt, can you see it? I don't see what you're talking about. Okay, no. I think he got it, but he's fucking sitting there still touching him. Touching his hair. <laughs> Look at me. Like, pick your head up. Yeah, it's gone. Fix your hair and then the animal thing. Yeah, but that's it. I agree. Next. Like, seeing an animal is like a fun goal, you know? Yeah. Or like even going out on like, like uh, you know when you go on like a trail or something? You're like, I want to find a leaf. No. You know when you go on like a trail? Like, you know when you go on like a trail and it has like the little placard and it's like these animals roam here. Oh yeah. And yes. it's like mm. it's like a little like bird. At the zoo. A little not the zoo, because that's like obviously it's there. You know what I mean? Like you're <laughs> at the zoo. Yeah, like, once you see like that actually, plaque, it's not gonna take a whole lot more to see the I feel like I just, haven't seen them out and about like that. Well no, like Vermont or New Hampshire at like Queet uh, Gorge. We walk around, you see the little like plaque. I've never things. seen those. Well it's like I have. You, it's like when you're entering like a conservation park and they're like this is the wildlife that like is mm, correct. Park. Yeah. It's it's not like crazy things. It's like you might possibly see like a chipmunk or a moose or something. You know what I mean? Like a deer. Those are two crazy yeah. things. Well it's like it's just like casual like nature animals. Like if you're yeah. in New Hampshire, it's general conscious knowledge you may see a bear. Yes. You correct. know it's like I, shit like dude that. I want to see a like wild deer more than anything. I pray to like every time to like God. Every night I'm like I just want to see a deer run by the car not gonna really happen here i know I it's happened so here sad. before yeah but that was like in the hills so long ago i know yeah, but it just makes you so upset i just want to go i want to pet a deer and just tell him you're okay you're my friend <laughs> and i want to feed him little like crackers and stuff the little what are those called like the little nibbles that they give i don't you? know but they, <laughs> they i don't you know feel your i just love like how that. much they enjoy them yeah like little <laughs> goats those. and deers and like llamas just love these feeding the snacks. alpacas in new hampshire in Vermont, I mean, it was a really fun memory. Dude, yeah. I love Vermont and New Hampshire and just, like, Maine and all those, like, woodsy areas where you can feed wildlife. Like, oh, my God, such a good feeling. We should, why don't we should do They'll it? They'll just remind me of Big Trevor. Can I say, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the deers and stuff? Yeah, it's just Big Trevor. The only one I think we should do for a video, like, try and find someone in New Hampshire or Vermont something that does this, is, like find like a wood carver and like we like get like the chainsaws and the picks and like I would love that I'd love to do it we should I'm mm -hmm. so down we should find someone I want to dude bro. if one of our viewers talent. has like a deer on their property or something or like free meet and greet we're coming over no for real like let me know I need to <laughs> like well, not just a deer on your property. Don't be posting videos like no, like there if you was own a deer, a deer. It's like, like if you're consistent if, you're, if deer you live activity. on a barn, deer has to have a name. If you're yeah. living on a barn and you're raising a like deer, hit, hit us up. Let me know. Actually, act for real. Post I'm the TikTok. Dead serious. I want to meet a deer so bad. I'll actually, if someone has like this is my deer farm. I'm coming. I'm, I'm going. Coming. I'll book the if next I'm flight. invited, we're going. Correct. And don't go buying deers to try to Yeah, them. seriously. But this no. has to be a casual thing. I want yes. like, your dad to like his dad also own deer. Yes. Like, I would need like a deer that like it was your dad's deer and now a it's generational your deer. Like, deer. Yeah, we need like generational farmer's girl, sturdy old triplet watcher. We're coming to meet and your deer friends. Safe. They have to be safe. Yeah. Like it can't be like a big angry deer that's like not friendly. No. I want to feed it. Well, doe, I feel like. A doe, a deer, a female deer is what you're looking for. Nope. Could be a male deer. It doesn't matter. The big antlers and stuff? It's okay. As long as it's no, not No, I think the craziest thing is, like, me, Matt, and Chris, we, like, we had, like, a, the deer head in the cape. I, mean, I know. The deer head is crazy. I know. I, I hate, like, deer heads on the wall, but it's, like, it was a moment. You know, you can't fix that. Well, I feel like no one's really currently doing that, right? It, no, what blows my mind is, like, some people admire and love deer so much, so they want to, like, kill it and hang it up and be like this is so it's such a beautiful creature it's like that was a and it's lie like, well it's no it's just like it's weird to be like harming an animal like that but it's just like i don't know it's like some people enjoy doing it i don't know it's like it's more of like i don't think they enjoy the the art of like killing the animal i think it's more of like flexing like the beautiful creature i don't know it's like weird to, like, i don't know see yeah. i love deer so much like trophies I, yes like yes hunting trophies correct I, yeah. I don't get it i yeah i don't know but that's like some people's it's a sport essentially it's just like kind of crazy to me but it's like i love <laughs> it is giving like no i know it's just like giving like hunger games like the people in the capital that like train for the hunger games let's go yeah even other. people like go like try to get like a bear and shit it's like dude, oh you're playing God. with your life 
Like actually, yeah. But no, Play like ball, I love deer so much. But I like, dude, that shit's just crazy. Like killing it, mm-hmm. it's like scary. Okay, moving forward. Um, do you have any regular mindfulness practices? Anything that makes you feel calm, gets you out of your mind and into into your body? Less thinking, more feeling. Mine's counting. Yeah, we just talked about that kind of. Yeah, music. Sometimes I'll just shower. Perfect segment. It says topic: music and mood. Yep. What is a song that immediately puts you in a better mood? Um, any song off Life of Dark Rose. Mm-hmm. Any song off of um, any Juice World song from like 2018, High school 2019. Times, yeah. yeah. Um, well, no, sometimes. I don't know. It's just like anything that's linked with a memory. You know what I mean? Yeah. Any song that's like linked to like a first episode of a show, like any Stranger Things song, like will bring me back to when I've watched Stranger Things. Um, one of like my prime happiest moments in life was when Outer Banks season one came out. Mm. Great moment in time. Honestly. Mm-hmm. That show, like, sorry to talk shit. No, it's not so talking downhill. shit. Downhill. I just think the newer seasons aren't as good, but I just think the first seasons were ama- like amazing. The f- season one of that show was great in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. I loved it. They should have found the gold and be like, we're rich. Shows over. Whatever, but let's not get into the current status of Outer Banks. Yeah. I just think that the first season was great, and that was such a good um, like point in time. Like I loved that. That was like what senior year. Junior? Oh my god! Remember when Outer Banks like first came out? Did you have like a like you were dehydrated as fuck or something? Yes. Well, yeah. I remember. Like, yeah. Chris almost like passed out yeah. at home, and like no, it was one night. That was where, so scary. No, the season yeah. two. It was like season two came out or something, or season one. I it, was, it was season one because COVID. Yeah, and it came out, and I was like up all. I it came out at like midnight, and I watched it till like seven in the morning. Oh my god! And then, yeah. yeah when scary. I went to like lay down for bed, I was like super exhausted, yeah, and I was also super dehydrated. Like but hours. that's also when I was at like peak unhealthy with soda. Like I was probably killing like a case of soda a day and not moving school. and not moving and playing like video games and shit. Like I was super unhealthy. Oh, it was COVID. Well, I was also like depressed because of like COVID and then the house caught on fire. Like I was yeah. like such a yeah. sad time as well. Which is crazy that I bring it back as like a fond memory. Um, yeah. But it was it was scary. That was scary. Yeah, it was crazy. But season one was great. Like just that time. Well, I just like summertime in the East Coast as well. Like great, great. I agree. I agree. Like um, summer I would on the say East Coast is amazing. For the last like two questions that I missed, I didn't answer. I'd say writing is like something that like journaling journal stuff mm-hmm. i do that every day which is great and then any song off of like swimming by mac miller yeah mm. those are my two answers for those multiple areas of your brain light up when you listen to music wow certain beats by narrow beats mimic the frequencies of the brain of your or your heart <laughs> <laughs> nick hates that shit <laughs> Oh my Nick goodness, I don't want to ever listen to those. Like, my my biggest thing in watching TV is, like, if the character's dying and they play, like, the heartbeat pulsing on the yeah. TV. It's like, stop this! Yeah. I want to watch the show. Stop. Yeah. I yeah. can't. I literally can't focus. I'm, like, literally going to explode. Yeah, <laughs> that shit's so scary. What makes a song catchy? When we encounter a repeated melody or rhythm, our brain recognizes the pattern and predict, predict its return. Mm. So it's like mm. there's like a good chorus to a song and then you hear like a different part. It's like you're predicting. That. And that's why when a beat cuts out and then he like changes a, li- a it's little. Like, oh my it, God. It's like, oh, like, then you can't predict it. But then you listen to it for the first time and you can continuously re- predict it after that's that. That's also why I feel like every album is like better on the second listen. If, I agree. If I whenever I listen to new music could be my favorite artist, I always tell Matt and Chris, like, I have to listen to a song for the first time to get it out of the way. Literally, I said this last week in last week's podcast episode, talking about I will literally feel sick to my stomach listening to a song for the first time because it distracts me so much. Like, yeah. I need to listen to music. At, like, the second the second time listening through an album I've never heard before, even if it's my favorite artist, is way better. I agree. I have to get the first listen out of the way, just that my brain knows what I'm going to endure Correct. the second time I do it. Genuinely. That's the weirdest thing, but I've always said that. It makes sense, though. It's weird, but it makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. I just would be like, oh, you're a fucking idiot. You're like, you, like, you can't listen to fucking music. Oh. Well, it's also like people fucking will always say, like, Oh, this shit's trash on the first listen. Yeah. And then they listen to it again. And it's their favorite song ever. Well, it's like the current status of music is just terrible, in my oh. opinion. Like music judgment. Like oh, people yeah, are, yeah. people drop music and they're like, oh, like, no, yeah. like when bro Utopia, flops drop I was again, watching, like, I was watching crazy. like Utopia reactions the other day, like when the album first came out, mm-hmm. Travis Scott's. And like I just saw like so many people like in the comments and shit, like when the album first dropped, like 
five years for this garbage, <laughs> five years for this nonsense. This shit is terrible, blah, blah, blah. And then it's just like, it's like Fiend's going to be your number one song of the year. It's like, calm well, down, yeah, buddy. it's just crazy. Like, like just how quickly people judge music now. I feel like yeah. people just don't care about the creation that's actually going into music. But also I think that there's some artists that are dropping music without fully caring what they're creating. So Correct. it's like a kind of mix of both. Mm. But yeah. Um, there's a concept in music theory known as, I'm not going to even attempt this word. <laughs> this refers to rhythms with unexpected beats. It creates levels of unpredictability, a break from the expected pattern that our brain finds intriguing. We're just talking about well, that. Well, it's that also crazy, trying. like like in horror movies, they use the sound effects to scare the fuck out of you because you never know what to yeah. yeah. play. You know what I mean? The sound, if you watched a horror movie muted, you wouldn't be scared. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's 100% the sound. Yeah. The sound makes or breaks like how scary a movie is. I That's agree. why The Quiet Place was like one of my favorite horror movies is because there's so like when there is noise it's so sudden like the thing is like they have to be quiet so it's like it creates like that like like you're tense that entire movie even if yeah. something not crazy is happening because of the fear of noise. You know yeah. what I mean? Like they're creating a tone of like That's a great movie. Really I just yeah, watched movie. it the other day. So when? Not the other. I watched the second one for like inspiration. I love that movie. Well, like I just watch like movies that like I don't know. I I watch a lot of movies for inspiration nowadays. So, like, I my brand love and both all that of shit. those movies. Yeah. Both of those movies. And also like the actual deaf action actress that's the deaf character even cooler part of that movie is like they have to be quiet and she's deaf and when it's like when they have to be quiet and you're in from like one character's perspective it's, oh, like, yeah. just it's like a little quiet when it's her perspective it's silence mm-hmm. and then that's way scarier because it's like it makes the quiet seem loud when there's silence yeah. crazy wow. great movies wow. though great movies the way you ordered that was it's those movies are just unbelievable music can spread positivity through lyrical Lyrics and universal themes of love, magic, etc. I love fantasy. Like I like mm. listening to things or watching movies that are like, like anything with like a fantasy tone to it that makes it unbelievable. Yeah, is yeah. my favorite thing. I'm a love huge that. fan of lyrics that like make it like it's like a like a feeling or like a like an actual situation, but it's just very. Um, I don't even know how to word it. It's like not talking about like actual relationships. But it's like explaining a relationship from like a different perspective. Metaphors. Yes. Mm. I love like like metaphors. Dude, it's and crazy because sometimes like really I don't even need cool. to understand. Like, there's a song, and I, like, and I listen to it. And I'm like, I don't even know what they're saying, but it sounds great right now. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. sometimes, like even just the way shit's like sounding, mm. I don't even have to know what the fuck they're saying. Yeah. Social media versus happiness. Consuming content releases dopamine in the brain, mimics the effects of drugs, and can be addicting. Example, That's you insane. keep scrolling on TikTok to find another video that you like that gives you a dopamine hit. Your brain is responding to the sim I don't know what that word is. But that is so true. It's like I've ca- I've caught myself on TikTok. Like I'm like brushing my teeth and then I'm like peeing and it's like while I'm doing like these normal like waking up routines, I'm like on TikTok the whole time. It's like, bro. Get off your phone. Correct. Yeah. What are you looking for? Like, I, I'll like it. Especially hits me. It's like when I'm scrolling on TikTok, and then I'll do something that actually takes my conscious thought for like two minutes, and I leave that TikTok playing. It's like, what's your goal to find when you pick your phone back up? I agree. What the fuck are you I doing? Agree. TikTok is. I think that constant. So like, the other day, so dangerous and terrible. The other day, like, I like removed TikTok from my phone just for like a day. Because I was like, I don't want to have this app anymore. And it's actually sick how much I realized how many times I go to try to watch a TikTok. Yeah, it's, you know yeah. I mean? it's awful. It's actually concerning. TikTok's the, like... I will say, no, though... Good. It's just like, it's just like, bro, it's like addicting, that's all. Yeah. It's scary. That mm-hmm. All social media is. Yeah. Tips for increasing your happiness. Set point theory. Studies suggest that individuals have a baseline level of happiness influenced by genetics to which they generally return after experiencing significant life events. Wow. So it's like you're at like a dormant point of like this is your level of happiness and it can fluctuate wow. from here. That's um, that's crazy. You can return to or improve your happiness set point with in- intentional activities. Crazy. 
Practice gratitude. Expressing gratitude regularly has been significantly linked to increased levels of happiness and life satisfaction. That's Chris I do that is the all king the time. King, king gratitude. I really am. Chris will walk into someone's house and be like, I love you so much. You're an amazing Dude, person. What did, it's well, like you I, just Chris got did here. some shit the other day and I was like, this kid is like next level of No, I just think like when I just am overly front with my emotions, I'm not I'm not the type of guy to hide a thing of how I'm feeling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially positive. I don't I sometimes well i'll actually that's a lie what i said prior i'll always hide my feelings if it's like sad and negative i'll mm. just keep it to myself but if i have an overly like outgoing positive, positive thing inside me and it's i feel it I'm, i have to just announce what i'm feeling yeah like i i don't know why i have to do it but I'm i'll just be, remember i'll just be sitting at like a dinner table or if i meet someone new i don't i'm just unfearful of making a situation awkward by being overly positive because yeah. i feel like I know that for me, even I suck at reacting, and you are the worst at reacting Thank to like you. overly positive stuff. Yeah. Like if I went up to Nick and I was like, "You are so amazing," and I'm so proud of you, he'd be like, "Okay." Do you know my go-to reaction? No, that's why. That's my go-to reaction if I'm with someone and they say something positive to me, or it's like we could. I remember we were meet, we were hanging out with someone for the first time not that long ago, and they mm-hmm. said like, "I love you guys. Like you guys are awesome. Like you guys are super nice." And I literally went. Yay! Yeah, like you're just awkward. Like, yeah, like what the fuck do I say? Yeah, yeah. No, I I just love. I love being overly positive, just because, like, even if the person doesn't like react to it or like announce their like like whatever, they'll remember. They'll just remember that because I always remember when someone. I'm the opposite of you, where it's like I don't overtly say positive things to someone's face, but it's like I'll let all of those things bottle up till we leave, and then when the three of us are driving home from somewhere, I talk. When we first get in the car for the next ten minutes, yeah, about mm-hmm. everything See, I, don't know. I thought. I just blurt out everything. Like I just, I have to. I yeah. have to let them know what they're making me feel in a positive way. Even um, like when we just collabed with Sam and Colby, I'm like, you guys are great. They're like, like, yeah. cl- like that was the, one of the most fun content experiences I, I've of no, my no, life. I mean, we don't sure. collab with many people because we just like don't really enjoy. Like, I don't know when it comes no, to like, it, when it comes to like filming a video and making content, us three are so uniquely ourselves that it's just easy. But it's to also like a little bit of like an awkward experience. It's intimidating. Like, okay, gonna, like, it's record, intimidating on both yeah. parties. Yeah. For sure. But so that's like, why I felt like with them was like, I love filming with someone when it feels easy. It's like you forget. That especially you're with how, like, like, I just kept saying to them over and over again. I'm mean, like, I'm just so excited for like the viewers. They're going to be so happy. Yeah. This that was true. I, I said that probably like 80 plus I had times. a really great time. I, I think really it's awesome. also just like. I think like with filming stuff like that with them, it's like not obviously everything that was on camera was on camera, but like there's just so many experiences that we had with them when we just met them, like Great initially guys. and just meeting them and hanging out. And it's like, it, it just, they're fabulous easy. people. Super. Like, that's guys. why I also love being like a fan of Sam and Colby. Like, before watching their before going to film that with them is like having seen like a decent amount of their videos and feeling like yeah. I understand what's going on. It's like being with them, cameras off, like the day of like yeah. prior is like it's the same experience as watching their videos yeah. like yeah. i was there and i was like this is exactly i just what really i, was I just for. really love that they love what they do but it's yeah. like it see so a lot fun. of people would just be awkward and not want to express that a million like dude there's a thousand times that day where i was like you guys are so cool and i great. loved yeah. that that was so much fun really but fun there's a little bit more of this shifts your focus from what is lacking to what is a Abundant in your life is the is gratitude. It shifts your focus from what is lacking to what is abundant in your life. Okay. So it like takes your focus off of like what there isn't a lot of. Yeah. If you're grateful it's like for something, you don't correct. you're not thinking about what people you don't are always, have. People always want what they can't have, essentially. The yeah. grass is always greener on the other side. Correct. And sometimes I love that. Not. I love that. What is something so you're grateful for? The grass for? isn't always greener on the other side. You said is. No, it is. That in the the same. grass is always the grass greener is always where your feet are on the other side. But it's not. It, it, yeah, you're going. You're taking. Like the, <laughs> you're just going, yeah, you're just jumping going, way past. Like you're the lesson. To <laughs> the nah, 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 nah. What is something that you're grateful for right now? Who do you or what do you experience in your body when you express gratitude? Chris gets a little what? hop in his step. Oh, like Chris, he's, no, he's Chris grateful is very, he skips over. Yeah, Chris is just very vocal and very like physical, but like at the same time, if that makes sense. Like it's like a it's like a it's like a noise with like a bodily action with it. Yeah. Like a woo or a yeah. 
Sometimes I got to jump. Like, I don't know what yeah. it is. With I don't know. I like to move. It's well, a little bit of like sick. a tick type of sensation. Like Chris gets super <laughs> yeah, grateful. I was going to say like, that, but I wasn't No, no, he, say he that. does. Like you like tick a little bit. Like you like, like do No, I just something. have to do something. Yeah, like, like you just, have yeah. like, Chris has like physical ticks Nick, of excitement. read those again. Yeah, like agree. when you get super grateful, you just like jump. Well, you know, like a little kid, like they find out they're going to Disneyland. They're like, yeah. Like they can't, they can't do something like that. That's how I am. You're a very physical reactor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which I feel like is so cringe. Like I'd make fun of myself for that, but no, it's, it's funny. Um, positive relationships. What does a positive relationship look like in your life? Strong supportive relationships are one of the most significant predictors of life satisfaction and emotional well-being, according to numerous studies in positive psychology. Human connections make a difference and improve your lifespan. Balance. Dude, Balance. that's why a positive relationships is like, if you're having positive relationships with everybody in your life versus like negative relationships with everybody in your life, you alone and what your life path looks like in that moment is a reflection of your experience with the people in your lives. Yeah. It's like, if you're day to day, you're worrying about the people around you, fearful of the people around you not enjoying being around the people around you that's going to be a negative thing looming on you until you like either sort that out or be rid that yeah you know i think i think it's the same way when it's positive if you and your friends are having fun every single day when you go to do something else in your life you're going to bring more of a positive attitude because you're surrounded by positivity outside of that scenario i think the keys to friendship and all and like happiness of that stuff is balance and making sure that both people are happy even if someone's living a sadder life or in a worse situation there's always time to like be able to balance life both ways and be there for them and be there for each person yourself correct and be there for each person and then i think um reassurance and making sure that the person is aware that you ca- that they care for you and that you're their friend yeah. is always big and huge. And then I think um, communication is like number yeah. one. I love being there for my friends because that's yeah. the thing. It's like being there for your friends and like talking to your friends consistently. Not only will it help them, but it's like I feel like if someone's not doing well and I talk to them about it, I feel more positive that I'm helping them get to a more positive. I also state. think that the failure of most friendships is um, not the is the friendship isn't fifty fifty. I agree. I think that that's how like a majority of relationships, that's even all, like most of mine, like just yeah. is not 50, 50. That's yeah. what I think. But is. that's also another thing is like, like the, I remember being a little kid and I used to like go to bed and I'd be so fearful of like next year when I'm in a new grade, if I'm like never going to see my teacher again, which is like, that's not the same example or like, like a friend moving away, be like, Oh my God, I'm never going to see yeah. them again. And constantly fearing like not being friends with somebody anymore. You well, yeah, I, mean? I just think one of my biggest fears and one thing I overthink of is I constantly think of what someone's thinking of me. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, I hate, that. I hope that they don't think that. Like, yeah. like, I just always worry. And like, even if I meet someone and have the most positive interaction back and forth, I'm always worrying that the person like doesn't yeah, actually fully, like me. To this day, I, I, that's I'll, like my number one thing. A hundred percent. I also think I struggle with a lot, like when originally meeting someone, like, I don't know if this is like crazy, but I I leave hanging out with someone with three things that I wish I either didn't say or worded better. Yeah. Yeah. But that's another thing is also with like meeting new people or like being just consciously aware of like who you are currently friends with is always the best thing because it's like, it's always, always okay. And it's like so scary to think about, but it's always okay to understand like when a friendship should start and whether or not it's worth like like that's the thing is like too many people are like fearful of like not letting a friendship happen like if well, you meet someone that like doesn't like it's it even, seems like it's going to become it's even a forced some friendship of like the, it's okay to be like it, it's we even some like, of the like anonymous yeah. confessions we get when we film car videos when someone's like i want to be friends with so-and-so but their mom doesn't like me and they're acting weird and it's like okay then it's not worth it yeah i think that it's it's, it's totally that's the thing people it's like, are it's so beneficial like, to you to yeah. be consciously aware of when a friendship shouldn't happen or when it should end correct i feel like yeah. sometimes, like the best sometimes thing people forget for that their happiness is far more important than like one or two relationships yeah. that aren't as important and you're <laughs> even if you're is. not being what there it is what I, I I joke around that you always get this little yawn that you have to do when you start talking about something like... Well, no, I'm just yawning because we've been filming for an hour and 13 minutes and I'm Move, ready. Chris, to, go ahead. I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Acts of kindness. Performing acts of kindness produces a helper's high with studies demonstrating that selflessness behavior increases happiness and well-being. Love that. I didn't even know what you said. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm per- just zoned out because of my stupidity. Acts of, okay. Performing acts of kindness produces a helper's high. 
So oh it's yeah. Like when you help someone, my least favorite thing ever is when someone gives like a homeless person money or a sandwich or something and is like fucking in their face, like, here's the sandwich. I hope you love it. Here's <laughs> yeah. a sandwich. Here's a meal. Yeah. It's like, fuck off. Do it it's for like, happiness. Yeah. You not- need to go give this homeless person a meal and enjoy that they get to enjoy the fruitfulness of a meal. Correct. And that's what you need to get as your takeaway. About Correct. It. I agree. I, I, I cannot stand the documentation of like treating like homeless people or people with special needs like puppies like here's like a treat you know what i mean like that's ridiculous yeah yeah ridiculous always blows my mind um well i also think of um like the help the helping the what's it helpful helpers high this is grandma Yes, grandmothers yeah. like especially Dude, if our grandma. There's like, a helpers grandma, high. My grandma's constantly correct. in the clouds. Correct, that woman is, she's the helper. She's the hamburger helper. She's Santa Claus. Correct. She's the Easter bunny. And I think sometimes that overwhelms people. Like sometimes you, it's like you need to slow down. She is Diego. the helpers high definition. Yeah. yeah. She's the Snoop Dogg of the helpers high. That's what Correct. grandma is. She's like, do you want popcorn? Oh, no, I'm good, grandma. Oh, I'll make you popcorn. Oh, I burnt the popcorn. I'll make another batch of popcorn. Here's 20 do you bucks. Want a Coke want a Coke? With that? Like, no. Here's 20 bucks. Go buy popcorn and Coke for when you're at home. It's like, grandma, we you got, are amazing. You. Yeah. Thank you. Um, spending, last, last thing, and Matt's going to be so enthralled for this, time in nature. Spending time in nature environments that a joke. are, well, for both reasons. It's the conclusion of an episode, and it's a thought that you enjoy. Time in nature. Spending time in nature environments or viewing nature scenes can enhance your move. Your move. Mood. Yeah. There's a there's a typo on this. <laughs> can en- enhance your mood, alleviate stress, and promote sense of well-being. Fully agree. That's all I ever want to be. That's all I the only position. That's all I, I ever want to be. Wanna be. You sound like like a what's that song? Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna do it anyway. It's Tiza Touchdown. What's the song? That's not Caesar touchdown. That's what he was. That what you were just saying was what he was. Yeah, was not. It was oh. different. Mine's like more like one of those like radio songs. I don't even know. Yeah, I love being outdoors, and I'm so happy to film this episode, and mm-hmm. I'm very happy you guys came to watch this Monday, and I hope you come to the next Monday podcast. See you guys yes. next Monday. Get outside. Get off your phone. Take deep breaths. Enjoy your life. And spend time with people that love you and care about you, and do something positive for others. Amen. And always prioritize your happiness. Yep. Peace. That's the two number one things to prioritize your happiness and your health. Amen. Double H. Double H. Double H.